Oh! I think I got something bigger, guys. Ooh. My Walden people, welcome to the wild world of Farley. Let's get it. Stay wildin'. What's up, my wild and people? Welcome to another episode of Wild World of Farley with your boy Farley. Guys, on today's episode, I'm gonna go fishing in my backyard. So enough of me talking. Let's get right into this. Let's get it. All right, my wild and people. I'm urging you to stay home as much as possible. But I understand there are gonna come times where you need some type of food, you may need some supplies, but have no fear. Petco, as well as PetSmart, and some other pet stores have initiated something called curbside pickup. So what it is, is you go online, you pick the items that you need, and then you have those items ready at the store. And all you have to do is come in your car, park alongside the curbside, give a call to the store once you've arrived. You have to have a valid ID. Apart from having a valid ID, have to let them know what the make and model of your car is. They come to you, they drop it, and they go. No transaction needed because everything is already done online. This is beautiful. Guys, I've actually just used this service. I'm right outside of PetSmart. I have my products. I have my items that I need for my pets. The contact was minimized. Literally, they came to my car, I dropped off my items, and they were gone. So that helps limit the exposure of coronavirus, and it keeps myself safe as well as the workers. So if you guys must go outside, must get some things, some last-minute things for your pets, apart from using delivery, take advantage of this curbside pickup. I know I just did. Now it's time to go back home. All right, guys. So we're back home. I did my online order, as you guys can see. And what I ended up getting were crickets. Plenty and plenty of crickets to feed my fish and go fishing with. All right, so my crickets have been transferred. That's right, there's 60 crickets, and they've all been transferred in here. Time to go on that fishing adventure in my backyard. Do puffers like crickets? Will our little puffer fish enjoy crickets? There is a cricket. There it is sinking. Where is the puffer? Is he coming? He's on his way. Is he going to eat it? Oh, he is destroying it. He is just going in. All right, my little puffer seems to like crickets. Is there anything he doesn't like? Oh, wow. Yeah, he's going in. Look at his belly. He's been eating good. He had a ghost shrimp earlier today. Now he's getting the crickets, and he had a couple couple of snails. Yeah, he's eating good. All right, we'll let you finish your meal. Looks like our puffer enjoyed that little snack. All right, my wild people, so we've made it to our destination, which wasn't really far. I got the smallest hook I had in my tackle box. Come take a look at this. Now I'm gonna use this hook and put it through a cricket. All right, let's see who's active. Let's see who wants it. Opening this up. Let's just grab a nice cricket. This one seems like a nice guy right here. Oops. I think I broke his back. There he is right there. Just gonna hook it through him. Just like that. Let's do a nice little cast. Hopefully we'll catch him. Okay. I just let it sink right now. Hopefully the fish are hungry. They come and eat it. Now we wait. I really didn't. Oh, 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 oh. All right. Looks like we caught a little bluegill. Not bad. I'll save it for Bassy. Can't go wrong with the bluegill. Unhook on man. We're good. We got the bluegill. I'll get the aerator running, but we should be good to go. All right, guys. Let's see what else we can catch. Let's try to get two crickets this time. So I got one right here. I got two solid sized crickets. All right, the crickets are sinking and as they sink, they get deeper into the water and that's when a bigger fish should eat. Okay, something got it guys, something got it. Something pulled my line, let's reel it in. And again, another bluegill. <laughs> All right, guys. Oh my God, there's a bass. There is a bass. There's a bass right there. Uh, the hook is not big enough, but let's try to use this bluegill to catch the bass. Let's see if we can do that. Let's try that right now, guys. Let's try that right now. I 
figure I got something bigger, guys. There's no way a bluegill would be doing this, this much work. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass, guys. Look, look, look at it. Look at it. It's a bass. We caught a bass on the bluegill. We caught on the cricket. All right, let's reel this bad boy in. Oh, okay. Using the micro rod, the ice rod. We caught a nice little bass. Oh, he's trying to go under. He's trying to go under. We're not going to lose him. We're not going to lose him. Oh, look at where the hook was, baby. Look at where the hook was. Okay, let me go in there. Let me go in there and lip him. Don't want to touch the line, but I don't want it to break. Oh, what are you doing? Where are you going? Come on, bass. Ooh, got it. Guys, that was perfect. That was epic. Take a look at this. Again, we're not looking for this, but hey, it's a bigger fish, so I can't complain. And look at that hook set. Look at where that hook was. And the bluegill, nowhere to be seen. All right, guys, I'll smile for the camera for this nice little bass. Nice, healthy. Your stomach's looking not too bad. Or we'll release it. All right, guys, come take a look. And we'll release this baby. Woo wee! He's a healthy one. Thank you, thank you. And enjoy the rest of your day. Stay wildin'. Goodbye, my friend. All right, guys. So, so far we've caught two bluegills and one bass. Let's see what else we can catch. And after this, I'm gonna move from this spot and go somewhere else. Oh, that was nice. Let my line go, let my line go. I see a big fish on the bottom. I can't really make out what it is. Okay, I do see some bluegill. Let's see if the bluegill will go for it. I still see my bait, something got it. Something got it and we pull it in, we pull it in. Got him, got him. Bluegill, 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 baby. It's a bluegill. It's, oh, this is a nice size bluegill. I'm gonna head back to my pool pond so I can give Bassie the treat. Come take a look, guys. That one, the big one right there, he's active. Let's grab him. Let's grab him by the tail. And let's see if Bassie's on All right, there's Bassie. Bassie knows what time it is. It looks like the red tail's trying to get some of this. <laughs> All right, we're trying to give it to Bassie, though. Three, two, one. And Bassie's going for it. He's chasing it. He's chasing it. There it is. There it is. Is Bassie going to get it? Ooh. Ooh. It's hard to see. It's hard to see. Bassie's going. Bassie's going. There it is. Is it going to survive? It may just survive. Ooh. Oh! Alright, it's sinking down. It's sinking down. Let's see if some fish are hungry. Oh, something got the line, something got the line, guys, and it's at the hook. Got him. That's the bluegill. Bluegills love, love, love crickets. Right, one more cast, guys. Cast it, cast it. The took it. Hopefully the fish takes it next. It's going down, it's going down. This one's big. Guys, come take a look at this. Come take a look at it. We got, what do we get? We got a Mayan. <laughs> Finally, guys, I've been looking for this Mayan all day, baby, all day. All right, guys, so we got a bunch of mega bluegills. Apart from getting big bluegills, we also managed to get a mega bass. And finally, we got a Mayan signal. One more cast. Last one of the day. We got something, we got something. It's pulling line, it's pulling line. Come take a closer look while I set the hook. On this little baby bluegill. <laughs> All right, my wild people, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Obviously, crickets work like a charm, and you can use crickets to catch bait fish to catch even bigger fish, as I showed you today. So be safe, and until next time, stay wildin'. Hey, hey, you viewer. Before you go, I want to say thanks for watching. Apart from that, if you haven't already, subscribe, give me a like, and of course, stay wildin'.